be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. Oh, rejoice and be glad. You are welcome to a time of prayer and a time of declaration of God's word. With God, nothing shall be impossible. Our dreams are possible when we trust the ability of God's word. Our dreams are possible when we make God's word the foundation for our thinking. Nothing is impossible for those that walk by faith. Faith in God has the potential to change any situation. Good morning to everyone joining us this morning from around the world. It's always joy to bring forth the engrafted word of God that has the potential to move you to the next level. So as we pray this morning and prophesy to our day, expect amazing increase. The scripture said this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. So today we'll be looking at increasing in favor. Is it possible to increase in favor? The answer is yes. The scripture said that Jesus increased in favor. He increased in favor. We, we saw Jesus walking in amazing favor. Favor is the ability of God at work in you. Favor is God's ability at work in you. I was looking at the scripture this morning in Luke chapter 4, uh, 2, verse 52. Luke gospel chapter 2, verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in status and in favor with God and with man. Jesus increased in favor with God and with man. And this is what you need to make your life effective. It's called God's favor. When we increase in favor, it is also an indication that our opportunities will multiply. How is our opportunities going to multiply? Is when we increase in favor. God gives you favor as a platform to unlock your possibilities. There are things you're called to do, anointed to do, but by favor, you excel in it. We don't excel because we are well gifted. Someone can be well gifted, but neglected, ignored. But when God's favor is in operation, there is no limit to what you can do. The manifestation of favor can break limitations. One of the ways that limitations are broken is through the manifestation of favor. The manifestation of favor can break limitation. It doesn't matter what kind of limitation it is, a financial limitation, a, a career limitation. It doesn't really matter. The manifestation of God's favor will open door for supernatural expansion. One of the ways we see supernatural expansion is when God's favor is in operation. Joseph stepped into Egypt just with a dream and God's favor. And that favor brought him to a place of prominence. It brought him to a place of influence. With God's favor on your side, Nothing can be impossible to the manifestation of your vision. With God's favor on your side, nothing can be impossible to the manifestation of your vision. Great vision drives on the force of God's favor. Great visions drives on the force of God's favor. You may have a great vision, a vision to build a university, a vision to start your own TV station, a, a vision to have an oil company or a shopping mall. It doesn't matter the size of your vision. When God's favor is in operation, the possibilities of the vision is released. The possibilities 
of the vision is released when God's favor is in operation. And there is someone watching this broadcast right now. God's favor has the ability to intervene in any situation. It doesn't matter what the situation may be in the natural or physical. It doesn't really matter. God's favor can intervene in any situation. Because God's favor is supernatural in nature. God's favor is supernatural in nature with the ability to empower you to excel. That is God's favor. You know, most people don't understand the efficacy of the favor of God. How powerful God's favor could be. That was what exonerated extra from all other contestants. God's favor. It was God's favor that brought root into the life of Boaz. Favor. And there are people watching this broadcast right now. God's favor is going ahead of you. God's favor is going ahead of you concerning your ministry, concerning your job, concerning your relationship. With favor, an enemy can be a friend. With favor, an enemy can be a helper. You know, sometimes you're waiting for people to approve a document or a visa or something for you. And maybe there are challenges you're having. There is some contention between those that have to bring the approval of the documentation or the document. But do you know God's favor has the ability to create opportunities? People suddenly loves you. Those that didn't want to talk with you, those that didn't want to see you, suddenly they change their attitude towards you. It's favor. And the Lord is saying to me this morning, when favor is in operation, oppositions bow. When favor is in operation, oppositions bow. It doesn't matter what the opposition may be or what the contention may be. When favor is in operation, oppositions bow. Contention cease. Those that were disagreeing with you, those that were saying, we don't believe in it, suddenly they are on your side. Suddenly, they are, they are changing their, their mind. They are on your side. Suddenly, they are on your side. But when God's favor is in operation, it exonerates you from humiliation. When God's favor is in operation, it exonerates you from humiliation. One thing that exonerates us from humiliation is God's favor. It takes you away from shame, from pain, from disgrace to a life of honor. Favor brings honor. And there are people watching me this morning. God's favor is coming upon you today. I like talking about favor because this is what it takes to win in life. I like talking about favor. I like praying for people to experience supernatural favor. It doesn't matter how gifted you are, how articulate you are, how interesting your communication may be. Without God's favor, nothing works. Nothing works. Things works by favor. Increase comes by favor. And this morning we'll be praying. Let's begin to give the Lord a praise this morning. Father, we thank you this morning. We'll give you praise because you're a mighty God. You're the King of kings. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are I am that I am. Lord, we glorify you. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let's begin to thank him this morning. Today is going to be a stress-free day. Today is going to be a worry-free day. Today is going to be a depression-free day. This is the day the Lord has made. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare that this is the day you have made. 
We expect your anointing to be in full manifestations in our life today. We thank you for being faithful. We thank you for being God. Glorify him this morning. Magnify him beyond your situation. Exalt God this morning. In the name of Jesus, every dream is possible when God's favor is in operation. Every dream is possible when God's favor is in operation. Lord, we thank you for your favor. Your favor is upon us today as we step into that office, as we step into that business place. We prophesy this morning the manifestation of God's favor beyond our human imagination. The people are treating us right this morning. Doors are opening in places we never ask for. In the name of Jesus, we release supernatural favor. Likama Santa Lambrodo Sakalaba, Likama Zinta Lapan Santa Lababa. We release supernatural favor. Rakaparato suntoli kaparada. Rekoma santa la prato seketoli baba. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy this morning on common visitation of the Holy Ghost, on common release of the Spirit of God. Supernatural favor. Listen to this. Favor is a divine seal that comes upon an individual that enables them to excel beyond their human efforts. Favor is a divine seal that comes upon an individual that helps them to excel beyond their human efforts. It helps them to excel beyond their human effort. There is a limit to what your skill can do. There is a limit to what your ability can do. There is a limit to what your qualification can do. But there is no limit to what God's favor can do. There is no limit to what God's favor can do. There is someone watching me this morning. You walk in an office, there has been some challenges in that office. This morning, the favor of God is going to you. It's coming upon you and you're going into that office with God's favor. And that job is going to come. I prophesy God's favor upon you. The favor of God will break limitation. The favor of God will extend boundaries. Every boundary line, every boundary line by God's favor is extended right now in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to break loose. Receive the grace to manifest uncommon favor. Receive the grace to receive uncommon visitation of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, God's favor will give you platform to release your potential. God's favor will give you the platform to release your potential. It doesn't matter how gifted you are. It doesn't matter how educated you are. You need God's favor to help you excel, to help you reign in life, to help you break forth in life, to help you succeed in your calling, to help you succeed in your dreams, to help you succeed in your vision. God's favor will give you the platform the platform to advance your vision, the platform to attract the right people. You know, one right relationship can take you to the next level. One right relationship. You don't need so much people in your life. All you need is the right people in your life. And favor brings the right people. I prophesy to you this morning. 
that God's favor is coming upon you and the right people will be connecting with your vision right now. The right people are connecting with your vision. The right people are connecting with your dreams. The right people are connecting with your destiny. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Lema socoliga brado se keli grado saka rekiga crudo se ketondo robo saka la baba. The right people. The right people are connecting with you. The right people are supporting your dreams. The right people. And when you have the right people in operation, great things begin to happen. All you need is the right people. Not everyone. And I prophesy to you this morning that the right relationship will cross your path this week. The right businessmen, the right businesswomen, the right director, the right people are coming into your life. The right people that will take your potential to the next level. The right people that will tell others about you. You need the right people in the name of Jesus. I release them into your life. The right people, they are coming from the west, from the east, from the north, from the south. They are coming from Africa, from Asia, from Canada, from America, from everywhere. They are hooking up with you in the name of Jesus. One right relationship can move you forward. One right relationship. I know the power of relationship. You can be gifted and anointed Without right relationship, nobody will see you. Nobody. So God sends you your Boaz. The job of Boaz is to bring you to a place of stability. The, you know, Esther was anointed with God's favor. God, God's favor is coming upon people this morning. God is anointing you with his favor. And when God anoints you with his favor, your enemies will become your helpers. Then the scripture that said that strangers will build your wall. People you don't know. People you have never met with. God is anointing you with his favor this morning. As you step into that business place. As you step into that office this morning, things will open up for you. In the name of Jesus, I release it upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, I release the anointing of God's favor upon you. In the name of Jesus, that was what made Joseph to succeed in Egypt. He knew nobody. Joseph knew no one in Egypt. He has no uncle, he has no cousin, a slave that became a prime minister. Why? God's favor. It was the favor of God that took him from slavery to prominence. It was the favor of God that took him from slavery to influence. It was the favor of God that opened the door. I prophesy to you right now. That God's favor will break every limitation, every opposition, every contention against your destiny in the name of Jesus. God's favor. Friend, when that favor is in operation, then you see the blessing. (laughs) Then you see the blessing. Then you see the manifestation of the blessing. Toiling seas, hard labor seas in Luke chapter 4, in Luke chapter 5, sorry, Peter and his men went for fishing and they caught nothing. And Jesus came, one right relationship, one right relationship. And Jesus came and said, can I have your boat? Means partnership. He gave his boat to Jesus to preach the gospel. When Jesus was done preaching the gospel, he said to him, launch into the deep. And when Jesus said that, and Peter said, we have toiled all night, we have been laboring all night. Jesus said, launch into the deep. And when he obeyed, wow, the Bible said the net broke. 
one right relationship. One right relationship. I prophesy to you this morning that the people that makes the decision and the people that makes the policy, the people that push the dreams of others forward will cross your paths. Will cross your path, will connect with you in this season of your life. I prophesy that upon you this morning that you will walk in divine favor. Mary was not the only virgin. Mary was not the only virgin, but Mary attracted the favor of God. That was why the angel said, Bless art thou among women. Bless art thou. Your job is coming. The job is coming. Whatever job you're believing God for, whatever you're trusting God for, receive the divine favor to receive it in the name of Jesus. When God's favor is in operation, no opposition can contend with the manifestation of your dreams. When God's favor is in operation, I prophesy to you this morning as God's prophet for this hour. I decree in the name of Jesus that you will see manifestation of favor. People will treat you right from today. You are watching me? I said people will treat you right from today. From today, there are people watching me. Nobody treats them right. People always abuse them. People always reject them. People always talk down on them. From this day forward, you're watching this broadcast. People will treat you right. <laughs> they will treat you right. Because God's favor is an aura. I am wearing the favor of God. I am wearing the favor of God. Can you say it loud? I am wearing the favor of God. <laughs> I cannot be resisted. <laughs> I cannot be limited. I am wearing the favor of God. That should be your confection. That should be your expression. I am wearing the favor of God. I am wearing the favor of God. You announce it to yourself. You declare it to yourself. I am wearing the favor of God. I am clothed with God's favor. For that reason, things are going right for me. I am wearing the favor of God. Glory to God. When you wear the favor of God, the doors of nations open to you. Because you're wearing the favor of God. Someone watching me this morning, you felt that thing came upon you. You, you felt something drop upon you when I talk about wearing the favor of God. You are wearing God's favor. And from this day forward, whatever you ask for will be given to you. <laughs> you're wearing the favor of God you'll be attracting the right people when people see you in the, in the parking lot they see you in the shopping mall they see you in Walmart they see you anywhere you're attracting they see you in the airport you're attracting attraction people will be asking you what can I do for you <laughs> what can I do for you and you don't know them and because you're wearing God's favor, and because you're wearing the favor of God, everyone wants to be on your side. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You're wearing the favor of God. And you're attracting great relationship, solid relationship. Great connection, the right people, the, the decision makers are connecting with you. From this day forward, I declare that you are no more ordinary. You are extraordinary because you're wearing the favor of God. And from this day forward, you will see what is called the display of God's favor. You will see the display of God's favor as you step into the business place, as you step into the church, wherever you do ministry, wherever you do business, you will see the display of God's favor. Father, I thank you. 
for everyone watching this broadcast that you are blessing that you are anointing anoint them with favor anoint them with wisdom and they will produce amazing results amazing manifestation of the spirit thank you father thank you lamb of god in jesus name Amen. Glory be to God. Wow, what a broadcast today. I am wearing God's favor. Don't forget that. That should be part of your daily confection. You wake up in the morning. I am wearing God's favor and I'm attracting the right people. You are driving in your car this morning. You declare it. I am wearing God's favor. I am attracting the right people. People are doing for me what they can do for others. I am wearing, I am wearing God's favor. I am attracting the right people. This should be your confection. People let go for me things that work hard to get. I, I have the favor of God. People let go for me. People let go opportunities for me. People let go finances for me. I am wearing God's favor. I am attracting the right people. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching this morning. Pray and prophesy to your day. And this is a beautiful broadcast. And I encourage you to invite your followers to watch this broadcast. Go ahead. Invite your followers to watch this broadcast. Go ahead and share it everywhere. Share it on the tweets. Go ahead and share it on Facebook. And share it everywhere. And tell your friends, I am wearing God's favor. And for that reason, things are moving. In my favor. Hallelujah. I am wearing God's favor. <laughs> this is so exciting this morning because I could really feel it. As you go to your office this morning, you are wearing God's favor. If your wife have left home to the work or your husband have left home before the broadcast, you text your husband or text your wife or you text your son or your brother and tell them, I, I, I declare to you, you are wearing God's favor. You are wearing God's favor. You declare it and tell them you are wearing God's favor and things are going right for you today. Okay, beautiful. Now, I am coming back to do a teaching on the confection of God's word. The next broadcast is coming in a few minutes, so I encourage you to stay connected. Now, listen to this. You can go to Faith Man Teaching on YouTube and subscribe to my teachings. If you go to that YouTube site, you have over 183 videos on that YouTube site as for well, yesterday and today. Now, listen, the guys working for me are doing excellent job. Heal is doing an excellent job. John Moses, these guys are gifts from heaven. Kojo, these men are sent from God to support this ministry, to spread it through the YouTube. So go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. You'll be getting all my teachings. You won't miss any of my teachings anymore. Hallelujah. Now, we also encourage you to partner with us. Through partnership, we're able to spread this message around the world. So you can use your PayPal to say, Apostle Fitman, I want to partner with you. I want to give you my right hand of fellowship apostle because you're wearing God's favor. <laughs> Thank you, apostle, for preaching to me. So I want you to go to my youth uh, to PayPal. It's faithmanteaching at gmail.com. Faithmanteaching at gmail.com. And said, Apostle, I'm sending you an offering. I want to be a blessing to this ministry as you can continue to bring this message to people free of charge everywhere around the world. You can also do it through MoneyGram. If you go to Facebook, you can send me friends requests on Facebook. It's Faithman Obwerda on Facebook. Faithman Obwerda on Facebook. And you can send me friends requests and we can talk with you. We can mentor you. We can inspire you. We can train you. We can help you get on with your calling in ministry or in business. We love you so much. And this is why we'll keep bringing this broadcast. i like you to consider partnering with this ministry. Because through partnership, we'll keep advancing the gospel all over the world. Thank you for watching. Share it on YouTube. Go and tell your friends about the scopes 
in this teaching. If you're watching me for the first time, follow me and invite your followers to follow. This is what to follow. This is God's word. It has the ability to transform you. I'll be right back in a few minutes to teach on the confection of God's word. A teaching you don't need to miss. Love you until then.